Hi guys. All right, I I haven't been keeping up on the informational videos. I am really sorry about that. Order. Between my work schedule and just trying to piece our trailer together here, it's just time and I've been really tired between the two, so I should be able to get more videos out this week plus, you know, doing things for Christmas as well. So so I wanted to show you guys, I did another painting yesterday, and this one I'm sending to our oldest son, Aaron, who lives in Michigan. Just a cute little, I uh, took it off from the tutorial. Uh, a video tutorial. I added, you know, a few little extra things to it to make it more... <sighs> my own, that kind of thing, but I got the idea from a video tutorial, so. It just helps me to be able to, uh, you know, do the outlines and the shapes a little bit easier instead of trying to take it off the top of my head, because I'm not very good at that yet, but. Anyway, thought that was, it turned out really cute, and I'm really happy with it, but. Yeah, I'm going to send that to our oldest son, Aaron. And that's going to be one of his Christmas gifts. I have... I am sending one to my sister. I'm not going to put that one on here because she does watch my videos every once in a while. So, But I'm also sending another one, one to another friend of mine. Her name is Erica. And I'll show you guys that. Give me a second. Deny or confirm that Mr. Pringle is the real sending. Under oath, Mrs. Pringle is the real I'm gonna have to get an envelope for this. I'll have to get an envelope or a box or something for this, but I'm gonna send this one to our to my friend Erica, who lives in Michigan as well. She really liked it, and uh, she was asking me if. Or how much I wanted for it. So I didn't get. A... Wasn't really sure what price to put on it. I didn't get back to her. And I just, just it was close enough to Christmas. I'm like, okay, I'll just give it to her for Christmas. So. Object, Your Honor. This is irrelevant and immaterial. As far as, my, as far as my paintings go, he is not even established. I'm kind of partial to some of them that I've done. Honor, I mean, I'll probably keep the Honor. ones that I have up. In case you guys haven't seen them, there's those two, and then that one right it, right there, over there, that's above the Christmas tree. I'll, I will probably keep those. I have a few other ones that I can't put up at the moment, because I need frames for them. What? Sorry, guys. I'm tired. Haven't gotten a lot, a lot of sleep. Getting to bed late because of working, and then... Waking up before six and having to use the bathroom and then not being able to go back to sleep, so. And I have to work tonight until 11, so, yeah. Fun. Anyway. So, I will get another video out there. Um, it's quarter after three. Let me see. Hey, so sorry, guys. I am really tired tonight. It's not even night. I'm really tired this afternoon. I really, um... My eyelid keeps twitching. Ah, that's annoying. I just want to thank you. Everything you're doing for Chris. I was in a gallery and... Uh, my eye. 
Let's look at tricks on this, Steve. Sorry. <laughs> My eye is twitchy. Sorry. Oh. Interesting. <sighs> We're watching Miracle on 34th Street. I love that movie. I'm a sucker for Christmas movies. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh yeah, I have to go live tonight because he's not going to school. Oh, how's she doing? She's good. She's good. This is you. So. Another I settled on. I think what I'm gonna do. Instead of doing a separate one here, I'm going to go ahead and do informational video. This is from my Christmas section, the Homestead Christmas section. And a lot of these, a lot of these videos are just going to be recipes. So, a downgrade. In essence, the church walked away from singles. So this one is the recipe for chocolate peppermint candy cane truffles. Secular figure of Santa Claus. Does that show that? Doom Thank you. The church has not made it. Okay, it says get ready to enjoy the holiday season with my five ingredient chocolate peppermint candy cane truffles. These homemade truffles capture the essence of Christmas using simple ingredients like peppermint extract, peppermint candy canes, and rich chocolate. They're easy to make and perfect for sharing during the, during the Christmas season. These delicious mint chocolate truffles Did you ever find any evidence of dwelling? add a festive touch to your celebrations. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so sorry. There's the picture. They look really good. Possible. Next year, I might actually start doing my homemade candy boxes again. I think I might make a couple of things this year because our friend Andrew was seemed a little interested in them. So, very possible I might do start doing some or do some anyway. Create a festive holiday cookie tray full of. I got a stupid ad. Sorry. Full of your favorite festive treats to share with neighbors to say happy holidays. Or bring it to your next holiday party. Include sweet treats like these candy cane truffles, delightful peppermint chocolate truffles, and the classic chocolate peppermint blossoms. Those are the uh, thumbprint cookies. But they're chocolate thumbprint cookies with a peppermint candy cane uh, Hershey's Kiss in it. In the middle of it. Add a twist with chocolate peppermint bark cookies and indulge in rich peppermint bark and creamy chocolate peppermint fudge. We have made, we've homemade the peppermint bark, the chocolate peppermint bark, and this stuff is so good. Don't forget to include some luscious peppermint bark fudge for an extra treat. Arrange them beautifully on a tray and you've got a delightful spread that's perfect for holiday gatherings. Your guests will love these festive treats. Like These easy peppermint truffles with a crunchy candy cane pop make a quick and delicious treat this time of year for special occasions or just for fun. The best part is that it's an easy truffle recipe. No fuss, no worrying about candy thermometers and tempered chocolate. Rich chocolatey truffles with a hint of peppermint and a bit of crushed candy canes for crunch. Only takes about 15 minutes. Diet says vegetarian, gluten free. Ingredients. Okay. Candy canes. Use peppermint candy canes. If you can't get candy canes, you can get the round peppermint candies or peppermint sticks. 
Chocolate. Use baking chocolate for the inner truffle to make a velvety ganache. I prefer semi-sweet chocolate chips, and you, but you can substitute for dark chocolate chips or milk chocolate chips. If I ever make these, I'll probably use dark chocolate chips. By the way, I have earrings on again, guys. See? Decided to start wearing them again. You can also cut up cho cut up a chocolate baking bar and use the chopped chocolate in place of the chocolate chips. The type of chocolate you use mat does matter. High quality chocolate will make your truffles better. That is true. Use candy chocolate or chocolate melts for the outer chocolate coating. You can buy this in the baking aisle. It is intended to make coating candy easy. Use, using candy melts is the easiest way to finish your truffles. No worrying about candy thermometers or tempering your chocolate. Okay. Also, the chocolate bark in the packages, the rectangle packages, that you can find in most department stores, even Dollar General carries them, and their, their chocolate bark is really good for, it melts really good, and it's a great dipping chocolate. I know that from when I was making my boxes. Okay, heavy cream. You can usually find heavy cream in the dairy aisle of grocery stores in the U.S. labeled as heavy whipping cream. Peppermint extract. Make sure you use peppermint extract, not spearmint extract. Do not substitute double distilled peppermint oil or pure peppermint oil. The concentration is different and the peppermint flavor may be overpowering. I have... Pure peppermint extract. It's real. It's not. If you rule against him, you won't destroy anyone's belief, but you will destroy. It's not fake. It's not the. Uh, Mr. Kringle is not concerned. Imitation. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Butter. Unsalted butter that is removed from the refrigerator early enough to be at room temperature is best, and I will highly recommend real butter. Don't use the. Fake stuff. Gluten-free. This recipe, as written, is gluten-free. Always check your labels to make sure your peppermint candy canes and all your chocolate are gluten-free. If the packages aren't labeled as gluten-free, you can check the company's website. Make sure your work surfaces are free of contaminants. Now here, I am going to buy a folding table. Because there's no way I'm using my counters. Straight up. Variations. Try one of these variations to switch up the chocolate truffle recipe. Dark chocolate peppermint truffles. That's going to be what we're going to end up using because I love dark chocolate. Use dark chocolate instead of semi-sweet chocolate. You can use dark chocolate chips or chop up a dark chocolate bar. Milk chocolate peppermint truffles. Use milk chocolate chips or milk chocolate pieces of chocolate or milk chocolate pieces instead of semi-sweet. Andy's Mint Truffles. Substitute the candy cane pieces on the top of the truffles for chopped up pieces of Andy's Mints. White Chocolate Candy Cane Truffles. Substitute a white chocolate candy melt for the chocolate candy melt to coat your truffles. Now most of, if, you're, if you use the uh, melting chocolate bark in the rectangle packages, most of that is a vanilla coating. You will have to look around either online or your bigger department stores to find, and you'll have to really look hard to find an actual white chocolate dipping chocolate. Because it's not easy to find. Okay. I don't want to roll against you tomorrow. Prep. Take off the plastic, take the plastic wrap off from the candy canes and put them in a plastic bag. Crush them to your preferred size and consistency using a rolling pin. You can also use a food processor food processor, but be cautious not to grind them up too fine. Aim for maintaining some chunkiness. Place parchment paper on a baking sheet and set aside. Alright, step one. First, make the ganache. In a microwave-safe bowl, combine the chocolate chips and cream. Heat them in the microwave in 30-second intervals, stirring each time. And you want to stick with that 30 seconds. It's all about money. For each time, because if you don't, you can burn that chocolate. The process should take only one should take only one to two minutes. Be careful not to overcook. Stop cooking when the chocolate is almost fully melted and stir until it's fully melted. Because if you overcook it, it's gonna get hard. And then you're just gonna have to throw it away because you're never gonna be able to get it to that melted 
that smooth stage yet ever i know i've made that mistake unfortunately okay here's a here's the picture of the chocolate chips with a heavy wh whipping cream kind of got a glare on it and then here it is with the candy pieces in it the candy cane pieces step two once the chocolate is turned into a soft ganache you'll make it into a peppermint chocolate ganache Add the peppermint extract and room temperature butter. Keep stirring until the butter fully melts and the ganache becomes smooth. Add the majority of the crushed candy canes, saving four tablespoons for garnishing of the peppermint, the crushed peppermint. Stir until the crushed candy is evenly distributed within the mixture. Wrap the top, step three, wrap Wrap the top of the truffle mixture with plastic wrap and refrigerate it until it becomes firm enough for scooping, which should take approximately two hours. Now, in my experience, you do need to make sure that some, it depends on your fridge. If your fridge is cold enough, it won't take that long. If it is, or if it's not, you might have to put it in the freezer for a little bit. But if you freeze it, then you've got to let it come back to almost room temp. If you let it go back too much, that condensation makes it hard to work with. So, Is that? Okay. Step four. To shape the truffles, employ a small ice cream scoop, a melon baller, a teaspoon, or a candy scoop to gather consistent portions Consistent portions of the ganache. Okay. I just used a regular teaspoon. And made... I always try to make the balls about like this. Almost probably three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch. Depending on how many I needed for my boxes. Because for a while I was doing a lot of Christmas boxes. So, I was making them... Um, Probably about like that big. Swiftly roll the portions of truffle filling between your hands to create round shapes. Be prompt because they'll start to soften. Soften. Okay. My suggestion is get some gloves. And use gloves because it's going to get messy. Place them on the, uh, on the prepared baking sheet. Okay. Now, those would be some really big truffles. And truffles are really, they're usually really rich, so you don't want to make them too big. You don't want them more than an inch. Okay. Step five. Put the chocolate melts in a microwave-safe bowl and heat it in 30-second intervals, stirring after each burst. This should only take about one to two minutes. Once the coating is prepared, use a fork or dipping tools to dip each truffle into the coating one by one. As you do this, gently tap the bottom against the edge of the bowl to eliminate any excess chocolate drip. If you are going to use your hands to touch the truffles, I recommend using vinyl food safe gloves to avoid fingerprints. The young yeah. lady who just approached the bench presented you with this Christmas card this. Stupid ads. Step six. Once the coating is Okay, I already read that. Never mind. I <laughs> Okay, and then there's the picture of the finished truffles. They don't sound that hard to make. Step 7. Return the truffles to the lined baking sheet while the chocolate is still in its liquid state. Sprinkle the reserved crushed candy pieces on top of each truffle. Continue this process with the remaining truffles and coating until you're done. God, we trust. But we're not here to prove that uh, God exists. Step 8. Once you've finished... Just as invisible and yet just as present. Once you've finished dipping and sprinkling all the truffles, place the tray back in the refrigerator to solidify the chocolate for at least 15 minutes. I like to put them in a mini cupcake liner for a fun look. For optimal flavor and texture, enjoy your truffles at room temperature. Bon appetit! Government of the United States can issue its currency bearing a declaration of trust in God without demanding physical evidence of the existence or the non-existence of the greater okay now this says make chocolate ganache with a double boiler 
Melting chocolate with a double boiler is easy and can prevent overcooking the chocolate ganache. If you prefer to use this method instead of the microwave methods. Small saucepan. This is your base. Fill it with a couple of inches of water and bring it to a simmer, not a rolling boil. You're aiming for a gentle heat. Double boiler. It's not as fancy as it sounds. Simply place a heat-proof bowl on top of your saucepan. The bowl should be large enough to sit snugly without its bottom touching the water. Chocolate prep. Chop your chocolate into uniform pieces or use chocolate chips. This ensures even melting. Now place the chocolate in the bowl atop your makeshift double boiler. Add your heavy cream. Stir. Stir the chocolate occasionally. As it transforms into melted chocolate, it will be smooth, glossy, will be a smooth, glossy texture developing. This indirect heat method prevents the chocolate from burning, a common mishap when using direct heat. And I've done that, and it sucks, because you have to start all over. Precision. While candy thermometers aren't necessarily for the, necessary for this method, keeping an eye on the chocolate is crucial. Overheating can turn your silky chocolate into a clumpy mess. Again, I've made that mistake, and it sucks. Storing. Storing chocolate peppermint truffles is a piece of cake and just in time for the Christmas season. Here's how to keep this sweet treat in best form. Number one, airtight container. This is your truffle's best friend. Once your truffles are set and ready, gently place truffles in an airtight container. This keeps them fresh and prevents them from absorbing odors. Number two, cool and dark. Store the container in a cool, dark place. Your pantry is a great spot. Avoid direct sunlight or heat sources. The fridge is fine. If your home runs on runs warm or you prefer your truffles chilled, the fridge is a good thing. Just make sure they're in that airtight container. Not too long. Enjoy your truffles within a week or two for the best flavor and texture. Trust me, they probably won't last that long. Freeze. Freezing extends their shelf life, making it a smart move for the long-term indulgence. Just wrap them tightly in plastic wrap. Then place in a freezer bag. When you're ready to enjoy, thaw them in the fridge overnight. Freezing doesn't compromise their decadent texture or fla rich flavor. And that is it. And then it gives the actual recipe, which is six peppermint candy canes, 10 ounce bag of semi sweet chocolate chips, half cup of heavy cream, a half teaspoon of peppermint extract. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature, and eight ounces of chocolate candy melts. And the prep time is 15 minutes, cook time is six minutes, chill time is two hours, total time two hours and 21 minutes. And I already read how to do it, so. Again, thank you so much. I should never forget. There you go. All my troubles past. Tip to go for. Never find a better friend. And I'm gonna. Thank you. Ah, sorry. <laughs> my phone does not like that. So you guys can screenshot that or whatever. That's the nutrition right there. Hey, you want to share a cab? So. Anyway, that was chocolate peppermint candy cane truffles. And I might actually go ahead and make those. Maybe not this year. Don't know if all the time. I might, however, be making my Buckeyes. And some Oreo truffles. I don't know. I will see. I'm going to pick out a I might pick out a couple of them and do them because... Andrew was really interested, so. Anyway. But I think next year I might get back into doing them. But I'm going to get off from here because this video is pretty long. And I probably will not get this uploaded today. Because I have to be at work at 4.15. I'll have Chloe put the intros on the both of these videos. And then I will upload them tomorrow. I apologize for not getting any out there recently or within the last couple of days, but I will definitely get these out tomorrow and go ahead and try it. Try those candy cane, those chocolate peppermint candy cane truffles. Anyway, 
And if you do, let me know how they turn out. Uh, but I think that's about it. Like I said, I have to work tonight, so it's definitely not going to get out there tonight or get up there tonight. So, so I don't get out until 11. I'm not even going to try tonight. It's too late. I'm going to be too tired. But tomorrow, I'm, I'll definitely get them out there tomorrow. I do have to work tomorrow, but it's not as long. So I will see you guys in the next video. You guys all have a good night. Thank you to the new subscribers. And you guys are new to the channel. We are Faith First Farm and Homestead. We have 12.54 acres down here in Oklahoma. We moved down here from Michigan a little over a year ago. And we have, we're working on, our goal is to be on the property by this spring. So there's a good possibility that we have a camper trailer coming. And we'll be able to put that on the property and start getting stuff built, fences and our cabin and that kind of thing. You guys, if you're new to the channel, you guys can go to our live video that I did a couple months ago. And it is called, it's called Faith First is Going Live. And in that video, I explain like everything about Faith First and why we started homesteading and our move down here and our plans for the property and that kind of thing. So go ahead and look it up and watch that video. Go through some of our, our other videos and watch them. And just like and share the video. Share, just share them on all your platforms. Share them with your friends, family, uh, neighbors, home, other homesteaders that you know of. People that want to do gardening, that kind of thing. And make sure you, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And make sure you click on the notification bell and hit all so you get all the notifications. And I do tend to upload quite a bit. It's just been kind of sparse within the last week because we just moved into a new trailer in town. Well, new to us in town from where we were so we're closer to work for now because we don't have a vehicle right now anyway i'm gonna get off from here and i will see you guys in the next video which will be tomorrow and you guys all have a good night bye guys